Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing my April favorites. Um, I don't have any flops yet. There's not a lot of products that I have that I don't enjoy. So these are going to be my favorites for this month of April. So today's the 30th and that is Monday. Um, you'll probably see it later tonight. So, so we're going to go ahead and start with primers. So my favorite primer right now is the Wet n Wild um, Matte. Photo Focus Face Primer is the matte finish one. Um, I love the consistency of this. I'm not a really big fan of the silicone based ones. Um, I have oily skin, so it feels like it's going to slide all over my face if I use it. So I like using this because it soaks into the skin and it keeps your face matte. My makeup stays in place. I'm wearing it right now. And I've been wearing this makeup for, I want to say, about five hours so far and it it's it stays in place it's it's awesome it's one of my favorite primers and i actually am almost out i need to get it replaced so that tells you how much i love this so um the next one that i'm going to go in let's see primer is an eyeshadow primer and is the wet n wild eyeshadow primer it's the photo focus one um it doesn't have a name some of them have really cool names i like wet n wild's little quirky cute names um, if the lighting seems kind of weird, it's kind of in and out, cloudy, sunny, cloudy, sunny. So if I look bright for a minute and then I look like, okay, it's, that's why. So just ignore that. Um, I love this eyeshadow primer. I'm wearing it. Like I said, I've been wearing it for five hours. And my eyeshadow stays in place. It doesn't crease. It doesn't smear. It doesn't budge. It doesn't move. Um, the color stayed opaque it doesn't muddy together later on throughout the day and it's it's awesome I absolutely love the primer um, and you can get both of these at Walmart you can get them at CVS you can get them at pretty much anywhere that sells wet and wild um, Kmart if you have a Kmart um, Ulta they sell this and I do believe this was like four dollars and this was like five or six dollars very affordable very good primers I absolutely love them I want to try um, their glowy one because for some reason I've been kind of into the glowy look and that's kind of weird for me so and I'm gonna go through steps I'm gonna go through primers and then I'm gonna go through um, like eyeshadows and brow products and then I'm gonna do you know like I would normally do my makeup so I'm gonna do with the primers first and next I'm gonna start working on um, foundations which is usually the next step that I go in with um, my favorite foundation at the moment and it's all because of Robbie Christie Christie made me do it <laughs> but um, my favorite foundation at the moment is the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir. Um, I'm in the shade 705. I was in 710, um, but you know, winter <laughs> kind of lightened me up. So hopefully this summer I can go back to 710. That's usually what I would wear. Um, it has um, foundation with vitamins plus broad spectrum SPF 20. Let's see, lightweight, full coverage makeup. This formula hydrates and includes a complex of SPF, 20 vitamins, and antioxidant, and it is oil free. And this stuff is awesome. It doesn't budge. It's 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 my go-to. It is my holy grail. There is no other foundation I will use. Um, I did try the Maybelline. What is it? The full coverage one they just came out with. That's a dupe for the Huda Beauty one. I didn't like the way that looked on me. It looked very cakey. I'm not a cakey, I'm a natural looking kind of girl. You know, I'm a mom, I, I mean, I'm wearing false eyelashes and I love my glam out my eyeshadow, but when it comes to foundation, I like for it to stay matte, but I don't want it to look so matte that you can tell that I'm wearing foundation. It oxidized really, really bad on me. And usually foundations don't oxidize on me, but that one did and I didn't care for it. Um, so the next one I'm going to go in with is the is for concealer. My favorite one right now is the Maybelline New York Instant Age Rewind Eraser. It's the dark circles. It's kind of like a brightener. And I like that it has um, goji berry and haloxo in it. I think that's what it is. But this is what it looks like. Um, I don't have a shade. <laughs> Mine is the brightener, and I, I like to look awake. You know, being a mom, you're tired all the time. You don't get enough sleep. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a few of you who can relate. I'm tired, and I look tired, so I have to have a brightener to make me look a little bit more awake. So that's I I um I have no issues with regular concealer. Actually, I have a favorite concealer, but I'm out, so and I kind of threw away the package. So sorry about all that. Okay, so the next thing I usually go in with is 
what would have been eyeshadow primer, but I already talked about that. So the next thing I'm gonna go in with is my favorite eyeshadow palettes. And this one is gonna get talked about quite a bit. Um, I'm gonna put that one back because it's limited edition. Um, so the first ones I'm gonna go in with, if you're looking for a um, affordable eyeshadow, but really great quality, um, it is the Wet n Wild um, Comfort Zone. I mean, the little color icon quads and the eyeshadow palettes. Um, these are my favorites right now. I like the Not A Basic Peach. Um, Comfort Zone is one of my favorites in Rose in the Air. And this one, and, and one of my previous videos I did say it wasn't a dupe, but I was wrong. It is exactly a dupe. There's not all the colors for the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Modern Renaissance one. But, I mean, look at that. Like this color especially right here. That is everyone's favorite shade in that palette. And this, and they're so pigmented. Like, let me... The image is so, yeah. Like, bam. Ho, ho, ho. Yes. Love these little palettes. And you only pay, like, I want to say, like, $5. Sorry, if y'all hear any noises or doors trying to open, it's because my kids are outside playing and they're noisy. So, but you can get these for, like, 4 or $5, um, depending on where you go. I got mine at Walmart and my go-to if I travel if I go anywhere they are in my travel bag because they are so small so compact and they are great quality they look great on your eyes these are the ones that I go for and then my other favorites are also wet and wild some of them are the originals so don't judge me but the little bitty three shadow quads now they have ones with four in them oh, my nose is itching Woo! allergies Oklahoma <laughs> Um, see this one right here is the walking on eggshells and this is a really popular one I haven't really got to play with the one blah, blah, blah. Um, I'll get it right here in a minute I haven't really got to play with this one very much um, but now that they have the one that they sell that has the actual transition shade in it I'm gonna pick that one up but this is this is a good one. Um, and then my next favorite is the get, I'm Getting Sunburned. I love to use, let me see. I love to use this one right here, like in the fall, just, just all over my lid. And it's perfect bronzy color. It's just, it's just the, it's just my go-to. Oh, sorry, I'm like all excited. I think I mixed some of that. <laughs> Some of that pinky shade in there. I'm gonna get swatches all over me. Um, anyway, that is I'm getting sunburnt, and I think you could still pick it up. I don't know if they're selling it in the quads like these yet, but um, I wouldn't be surprised if they did. Um, this one is called Petalette, and I actually heard about this one through Zabrina. She's one of my favorite YouTubers. Um, she loves Wet n Wild, and her actually her favorite shadow eyeshadow palettes are the Comfort Zone and the Walking on Eggshells. Those are her favorite. But this is her other favorite. And I tried it out, I want to say on Easter, I wore it. I think it was Easter. No, it wasn't Easter. It was one weekend that I had went back home to Texas for a little bit. And I actually wore this to church. And I did like a halo eye. I did the, I want to, I'll have to recreate that look. Because I can't exactly quite remember what I did. But I know that I put like the darker purple here. And then in the center, I put this one. And it was so pretty. I, I loved it. It was so great. And the colors are so pigmented. So I'm going to go with this darker one because it's going to stand out. Put it right here. It's not a very good swatch, but I mean, come on now. That That's bomb. Okay. And it's okay. You can build them up. It ain't going to hurt nothing. And then my other favorite one, this is the one I like to go for like when I'm going out with my husband out to dinner for a date, which doesn't happen that often but hey I do it so um is the silent treatment one and this is what it looks like and that is this color right in the middle is like a dark brown it looks black on camera but it's actually a dark brown it has some actual like kind of a glitter flex in it but if you like were to pop it in the outer corner you wouldn't even notice that it was there it was it's it's a really good little palette okay so that's my drugstore ones I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of set these down for a minute and we're gonna go cheap, but actually we're gonna do a little more familiar cheap. Um, it's not exactly drugstore, but it's really, really affordable. Really, really affordable. Um, BH Cosmetics right now has been one of my favorite companies 
makeup products to use so far. The only thing that I've ever had issues with as far as the company goes is their foundation. It just didn't set well on my skin. That's a whole, I will do a video just talking about foundations and why they didn't work for me. So um, current favorite eyeshadow palette from BH Cosmetics is their Weekend Festival palette. It's a 20 color shadow palette. And y'all, these colors, I did a video um, a while back. I'll link it down below. And I used some of these colors. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'll do a swatch. Why not? That's not a very good swatch. Okay, we'll try again. I kind of dipped into the color neon. So I'm going to go in with some of these colors so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So I'm going to go ahead and just kind of, I mean like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? It is beautiful. Holy crap. Okay. Um, my next favorite, my favorite color in this is the color ultimate. I love this kind of, it's just my favorite color in general, but you guys, dude. <gasps> sorry, I had to take a breather. <laughs> okay. And then my next favorite, I think the color I used in one of my looks is the color dippy and this is really pretty neon pink kind of color. And oh my, oh my gosh, that's so pretty. And you guys, I only paid $20. Actually, it was on sale. I got it for like 15 bucks. Free shipping on the website. I don't know if you're doing that anymore, but you guys, with this kind of pigment, E3 came from here. It's still like 18 something, $20 for this palette. And shipping is not that much if you just get standard shipping. This is a really 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 good palette and i mean bh cosmetics they are just great company in general as far as quality goes for their eyeshadows i absolutely love bh cosmetics they are my fady they're my favorite <laughs> and here's another palette that i've been reaching for a lot here lately it's really good for it's okay it is from bad habit and it is a dupe for one of the Huda Beauty palettes. I'm not exactly sure which one it is. I want to say it's a Desert Dusk palette, which I think has been discontinued. I don't know. I have to research that. But this is it. It is from um, Bad Habit. It's the Aphrodite palette. This is what it looks like. As a matter of fact, I think... Am I wearing this today? No, I'm not. I'm wearing Jaclyn Hill and a little bit of the BH Cosmetics one. But, I mean, look at this. Look at this. Is that a dupe or what? And they have another one, and I think it's the Athena palette, and I want to pick that up too. It is so much, it's like 10 bucks. $10 for this versus $60 for the Huda Beauty one. You're getting a great deal, and they're just as pigmented, just as good. There's a few, don't worry, there's always a few, but you can build them up. So what people don't understand about eyeshadows is you can build them up to the consistency that you want. Yeah, you may have to work a little harder, but don't knock some eyeshadows because... You might be surprised at what you'll find. And um, this one shocked the crap out of me. I mean, let's see. Hmm, what color do I want to try? The color Beauty? I mean, look at that. And that was just swipe, swipe, and then... Isn't it pretty? I mean, and all the shades are like that. You kind of, I mean, they're not, they're really soft. They're not chunky. They're, I mean, there's a, well, I mean, there's one or two in there that's a little bit chunky, but I haven't had any issues with it as long as you wet it with a setting spray. And please do your eye makeup first because if you don't, you're going to get some fallout. That's just, that's the only problem with this eyeshadow palette. But you know, that, that just shows you that there's pigment. So, a really good palette. I haven't been disappointed yet. I want to try more of Bad Habits palettes. Yes, they are probably dupes. Most of them, yes, are dupes. But you know what? I'd rather save a buck. Sorry. <laughs> I'm a mama. I have four children. And I have to save my coin. Okay? <laughs> and then my next favorite palette. And I just said save some coin. But yeah, here I am. Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette this is <laughs> this is my holy grail I mean it's got every kind of color in here for any kind of neutral look as you could tell I'm a neutral loving woman that is my thing okay minus the the flashy lashes but this is the palette <laughs> for those of you who haven't seen it who hasn't seen this palette I'm just kind of curious but I mean <laughs> I do tell that would be my favorite color if anything it swatches just as good as this color right here I'm just, I'm obsessed. 
I mean, that's all I really can say about this palette. It's got every color in here that you could possibly need. Ever. <laughs> it's got a gold. It's got a really nice burgundy. I actually did... Um, my kids' um, current... Their school colors are this color, Jack's, and this color here. And I did a look inspired by their school colors. And you guys, it was so freaking awesome. I was amazed. So yeah, there's my eyeshadow palettes. I, I, I'm an eyeshadow junkie. That's not even all the collections that I have in my entire life. <clears throat> so the next step I would normally go in with is eyeliner. So I'll go ahead and pull out my eyeliners. Now if you want drugstore, you cannot beat Wet n Wild. You just can't. You can't. And I, I use their liquid eyeliner. Um, it is the Mega Liner. And this is what the thing looks like. And I do sell pins if you're not from if you don't like these kind of felt tip um so I'm just gonna do a little line. I mean look how pigmented that is. That is some bomb pigment for a drugstore. Wet and Wild has never ever 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 let me down. It doesn't budge, it dries down matte, it doesn't move, and as a matter of fact, it's kind of hard to take off at the end of the day. So if you wanna save some money. That's a good option. I have never used their pins. Um, this is a pencil. I have never used their eyeliner pins. Um, I, I can't really say if there's a good or bad review on it because I've never looked it up because I've never used them. And the only time I ever look up a review on a product is if I'm curious on how well it works. So, sorry, I can't give you that kind of information. So, sorry. Um, and then for like a pencil eyeliner, is there... Um, on edge long wear eye pencil crayon and it's the color you're the yen i thought that was kind of funny so <laughs> yen i wonder if they have like a white shade that's called yang that'd be really cute sorry i didn't even realize that my freaking tv wasn't muted so you're probably going to hear a little bit of iron Go mr chef gordon in the background cussing a little bit but that's my show anyway this is what the pencil i mean really look how pigmented that is and it's a really soft one. You'll have to sharpen it like I've used it. I only use it in my waterline. Um, it, but it would probably be really good like on the upper lash line. You kind of smudge it out with a brush or something. It'd be really great. And now for high end. Um, I have a Ciate London Starstruck. It's a limited edition, but it came it came in my Ipsy bag. So I, I don't know if they're like still selling it or not. But it's a dual ended eyeliner. And this is what it looks like. This has been my favorite one for like a wing. It's a lot easier for me to use. That's why I said some people prefer a pen, some don't. And then here's what it looks like. I'm just gonna... This is the Ciate one that's wet and wild. I mean, the pigment is not much different. And then on the other end, it's really cute. It's a little star. I don't know if you can see that. I'm just gonna show you. See? Ah, isn't it cute? I haven't had a chance to use it. I wanted to do it when I was going to do the um, my um, review for the BH Cosmetics one, but I totally, like, it slipped my mind because I was, like, tired. <laughs> and then for pencil eyeliner, my favorite right now, and it's a sample. Don't judge me. I got it with my Ipsy bag. It is the Tarte Sex Kitten Pencil Liner, and it's a it's a movable one, uh, retractable, I guess. And then that's, and you barely have to press with this one. It is so pigmented and it stays in the waterline. It doesn't move, it doesn't budge. I mean, it is water resistant. I don't know how they did it, but it's freaking awesome. So, so yeah, that's Wet n Wild. And the Tarte one, that is Wet n Wild. And then it's the Ciate one. So, I mean, when you're getting pigment, you really can't compete you know high end and drug end they don't even look that much different than each other you know as far as pigmentation goes the wet and wild one i'm pretty sure the stay power for that one's a little different so i mean if you if you want a good one that stays i don't know any others that stay i haven't i just started using eyeliner in my waterline again i haven't done that since high school and i'm actually using the wet and wild one so and it hasn't budged i've had it on like four hours so yeah, it works pretty good for me. Okay, now for lashes. My favorite part of eyes, it's it just brings the whole look together. So we're gonna go with mascara. So right now, 
I am kind of obsessed with the Benefit Bad Gal Bang, and this is the sample one, but I'm going to go get the full size one. I love this mascara. It lengthens, it thickens, it stays all day, it doesn't budge, and I mean, it's hard to get off at the end of the day. And that's what I like about a mascara in this. If you want one for a good high end, you gotta go with this one. And I mean, Benefit has some really good mascaras anyway, because, I mean, come on now. They're, you know, the brows, everything else. And, oh, almost forgot to do brows. I'm gonna do that next, don't worry. And, I mean, I haven't heard anyone complain about Benefit as far as their mascara goes, their brow products, any of that stuff. Um, I think there was like an eyeshadow quad thing they came out with that kind of confused everybody, but it, I mean, to each their own. You know, some people liked it, some people didn't. It doesn't mean the product's bad, so. And then my next favorite mascara is the L'Oreal Lash Paradise in the Waterproof Formula. Um, this stuff won't move. I'm wearing it right now. It's on my waterline. My eyes water a lot, especially right now when my allergies are going crazy. And yeah, I, I need waterproof mascara. And this stuff, it doesn't move, it doesn't flake, it doesn't budge. It's hard to get off at the end of the day. At the end of the day, it is my favorite mascara. I haven't, and it's, I mean, come on, look at the color. Who do you think they're duping for? Looks like a little Too Faced going on there, literally. <laughs> anyway, and this is what the brush looks like. It looks just like the Better Than Sex mascara, but in drugstore form and different name. That That's funny. I, I, I was really actually kind of excited. And then this is what the Benefit one looks like. That's what their brush looks like. And it's really good for the, the lower lash line. I feel like it makes it a lot easier. Okay, and then for brows. Right now I'm kind of into the, um, and you're gonna see a lot of wet and wild stuff because um, I live in a small town. So the closest place to get anything like that is at Walmart. And if I wanted to get anything from like Ulta or something, I would have to drive all the way to Oklahoma City or a nearby town like Yukon or something because the town I live in is really small. We have a homeland, we have a Kmart, and that's 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 it. And, oh, we have Dollar General, but <laughs> there's only so much you can get at Dollar General. But you'll find some gems there too. I found some actually. I've, I've, I have something to show you. So, um, this is their um, retractable brow pencil in ash brown, and I've been using this. I'm actually I have it on right now. If you want more of a natural look, it's not like the most pigmented pencil ever. But that's what it looks like. That's ash brown. And they last all day. They don't budge. They don't move. I haven't had any issues with them at all. And then the other color. Basically what I do is I put taupe here in the front. In the beginning right here. And then I go in with ash brown. And I put it into the tail. Um, if you want a tutorial on my brows. Um, just let me know. And I will make that video for you so this one right here is taupe next to that it's a little bit lighter almost like a blondy kind of color so that's what I use on my brows I don't really like to big bold wham bam thank you ma'am in your face kind of brows that's just not how I roll so yep those are my favorite brow products at the moment nothing too you know exciting or anything But you know what? They work. And they kind of remind me. I think it was it Hourglass that came out with brow pencils like that. They're kind of, they're shaped like a triangle. Actually really cool. Really neat concept, I think. So I'm going to get this stuff out of my way. So I kind of eliminate what I've talked about and what I haven't talked about. Okay. And then for the, for the face, um, bronzer. Okay. My current favorite bronzer is the BH Cosmetics um, Contour Palette. I think it's a 10, 10 palette. Yeah, it's a 10 shadow or 10 bronzer contour kit. I use it for bronzer because some of the shades in there are a little warm and yeah. But um, if I want an extra kind of glow, I like to go in with the Wet n Wild Reserve Your Cabana. I think it is. is that, yeah, Reserve Your Cabana. Um, bronzer and I like to put this all over my face actually Julie Dawn Olson is one of my other favorite youtubers and she actually 
talked about doing this. She sets her entire face with this stuff. She just gets a brush and just all over her face and leaves this beautiful, glowy, youthful, looking like you got some sun kind of look, but it doesn't make you look orange. It's, I mean, it's, it's a very light color. See, that's what it looks like. And it doesn't have a terrible amount of sheen to it. It's like, I don't even know if I can get it to show up. You can kind of see it. But yeah, um, I love using that to set my entire face. Because for some odd reason, I'm into the glowy look now. <laughs> um, and then for blush, the one I've been using the most here lately, I do love the BH Cosmetics one, um, the classic blush palette. But I'm trying to expand my horizons and try something different. So I got this one at Dollar General. And this is the Broadway Colors Powder Cheek Palette Kit. Um, and I got the one, I got the spring one. And this is what it looks like. It comes with a little highlighter. It comes with like a little dusty rose kind of color and then kind of like a, a mauve pinky color and then a really light kind of, um, I wanna say more like a pink color. And I'm actually wearing the lighter color on my cheeks today and it's really nice. Um, let see, maybe I can swatch a few. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch some of these. Just um, fair warning, they're a little powdery. <laughs> so there's the three blushes and then the highlighter I'm actually wearing on my face. I don't know if you can see it. I won't know until I edit this later. And then here is the highlighter. It's really just um, your skin but better kind of glow. It's not one of your bam in your face kind of highlighters. I mean, if you want, you could probably build it up to that point, but it's gonna take a lot of product to do that. It's it's not so faint that you can't see it. You can see it. I mean, I'm wearing it right now and it's, like I said, I won't know if you can see it until I edit it, but it just gives this beautiful glow to your skin, you know, like pretty much your skin but better. It doesn't look chunky. It doesn't have a lot, it doesn't, I don't think it has any glitter in it, honestly. So yeah, that's that's the current cheek palette that I'm using and um, bronzer. The bronzer that I'm using at the moment is discontinued, but I'll show you anyway. And it, I, <laughs> wow, I'm a ghost. It's been loved very much. I bought it two years ago. Yes, I know, I didn't throw it away, bad me. But it's my favorite blush and contour from Tarte. Um, yeah, why not buy another Tarte? palette um i always forget when it's time to buy more blush and bh cosmetics is a lot cheaper so that's why <laughs> but that's the one i'm using at the moment um, i kind of change out my makeup weekly like i'll change eyeshadow palettes because i try to use up as much of my makeup as i can i have more makeup than i probably need right now but you know what it makes me feel good so i don't mind buying it um, so next we're going to do, uh, well, I didn't do finishing powders and I didn't do blush, um, sponges. So we're going to go ahead and talk about my favorite setting powder. This is the Cody Air Spun Loose Face Powder. And the one I like to use is Translucent Extra Coverage. And it just, I love the way it, it I set my under eyes with it and it, it just like blurs out your pores. It just, it's a really beautiful setting powder and it smells it reminds me of my grandma. It smells like a perfume she used to wear. I don't know if it was a perfume or if she may have been using this for her face. Who knows? But I was too little to remember. Um, but it just that's what it reminds me of. It is a really good setting powder. It it doesn't clog your pores. It it's not it's translucent, like it says. It doesn't leave a white cast or anything on your face. I just I love this powder. I love it. Um, and then the sponges that I have been obsessed with here lately, this is the, and yes, they're dirty. I need to clean them. This is the Flower Beauty Sponge, and I used it earlier. That's why it's so big. But this is what it looks like when it expands. It gets pretty big. And then also the Real Techniques one. I have, <laughs> I have never used a Beauty Blender sponge. Never. Never have I used one. The the real techniques are the ones that I have always used. They're my favorites. And I I mean they, they just push me to the point where I'm not even I don't even desire to use a beauty blender. Now I'm I'm not saying I won't, but I will someday. 
someday. <laughs> but these are the sponges that I like to use right now. And I just clean them off with um, a brush cleaner or sometimes I get like the antibacterial dish detergent and I, I use it to clean those off. So I haven't done the microwave thing yet and to be honest, I'm kind of scared to do that. So um, next we have lips. And we have a we don't have a lot of lip products. This is actually gonna be really quick. Um, I'm picky about my lipsticks. I'm just I'm really picky about about my lipsticks. So it's either nude or a gloss. I am not really one to wear bold colors, but I'm trying to step out of my comfort zone. I'll wear a red lipstick for like during the holidays, like for Christmas or Thanksgiving or if I'm going out, but I'm not really one to wear like a bright pink lipstick or a bright dark anything like that. I'm just, that just ain't me. So the colors that I'm obsessed with right now are from L'Oreal and I'm not even really sure if this one would count as a favorite because I just bought it, but it's called Ferris Nude. And this is the shade and I'll swatch it for you I have so many swatches I'm just gonna kind of put it on my hand and this is this is what it looks like it's a really pretty nude color it's it's one of my favorites it's been my favorite for a while even though I love nudes this color and I haven't been able to find one in the drugstore. Um, one that, that was my biggest favorite was from Tarte. It came in their holiday collection so honestly I don't even know what the shade was. I couldn't, I, to this day I can't find the shade that's like that color. And it was in the lip paints and I'm not exactly sure what the name, it didn't say so. Um, but yeah I love nudes that color, kind of like a pinky nude dusty rose kind of color. They're just I love them. They look, I mean, I'm wearing it right now. It's kind of my favorite. I need to touch it up, actually. It's glides on so good. And it doesn't really look like it shows up on my face, but I promise it's there. Anyways, and then the next one I'm in love with is kind of like, um, like the color rich. What was this one? Okay, these, yeah, these are the color rich lipsticks. Anyway, um, I don't know exactly what the name of these lipsticks are, but they're in the gold bullet. So just in, just in case you're wondering, um, and my next favorite right now is sugar plum and it's kind of got like a metallic kind of look to it. I don't know how to explain it, but it's, it's almost identical to um, but yeah, it's, it's so pretty. I love it. Love, love, love. So, um, so yeah, um, that is, that is, oh, almost forgot. And then my, one of my favorite lip, lip glasses. And this was in, um, it's a lip gloss. It is, oh my gosh, um, nude rose. It's from BH Cosmetics and it's a lip gloss, but it's really cool. It's got like a gold flex thing going on. I don't know if you can see it, it's, it's right there. See the gold flex kind of going through it? It is one of my favorites. I absolutely love this lip gloss and it's it's great to wear just by itself. Um, so yeah, that's, that's basically it um, for my April favorites. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you would like to see more videos like this, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. And if you guys want to see more videos like this, please comment down below. Please let me know what you want to see. I am trying really hard to make more videos for you guys. Um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys on the next one. See you later.